Well, here we are at first lock, or locks perhaps, but it's a two rise lock, as you probably noticed going up here. Turn bridge at uh, swing bridge at uh, the other end of it. You can see the cyclists going over it now. Um, and it's a scene of tranquility. The headers, Hurst Wood, the canal languidly uh, flows on, uh, people walk up and down, and yet this has been a scene of, again, quite a lot of industrial activity over the years, um, quite apart from the commerce of the canal itself. Early references show that in Hurst Wood itself, there was an ironworks, um, which are roughly contemporary with the ironworks that uh, were mentioned um, at Crag End, uh, when we came across that, along that part of the, the, uh, the Bradford Canal. Um, whether the two were connected is difficult to say now, um, but documents from a court case in the late uh, 16th century survived to show that uh, there was a possible connection because that was a part of the Manor of Idol and they were saying that uh, iron was brought from there up to Shipley Hurst, as it was known then, uh, this area, uh, where a, uh, a water-driven, so that would be the River Air, a water-driven uh, hammer was being used to forge the iron. Um, the site of the ironworks, your guess is as good as mine, it was on the River Air somewhere, which makes the uh, boundary to the far end of Hurst Wood. Um, and it was a, there too that uh, a textile mill was built at the beginning of the 18th century, a fulling mill, you know, that process where cloth is cleansed. Um, that was an enterprise that uh, had gone bankrupt uh, during the 18th century, but was reconstituted later on as what was known as Newhurst Mill, uh, which was a much larger mill uh, with a row of cottages beside it for its workers. Uh, that was going stronger uh, until the, uh, and right into the, uh, right into the 19th century. Um, that's gone now too. You can just about, if you, you know, really poke around, make out the uh, foundations of where the houses were. And there seems to be the sort of, sort of remains of a, a weir on the river air. So that was a water powered mill as well. Um, but if that wasn't enough, if you go down Hurst Lane or Hurst Mill Lane, which is just ahead of us and to the right, at the end of that, a further mill, but this time, perhaps unusually, a paper mill. Um, so, Tranquil scene now, but a scene of quite some industrial activity in the end, uh, 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 in the past rather. Uh, plus, what's missing when you look over to the car park over there was uh, a large farmhouse of at least early 18th, probably earlier origins. Um, the farm itself certainly was earlier origins. Um, it was lived in by a man called Randall Wright, had a name to conjure with, um, who it was said in the court case that I mentioned uh, earlier. Um, lived about a mile from the centre of Shipley, well, that's about right, uh, and could often be heard firing a gun. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what he was up to. Um, but that's gone now, it was taken down, I think, in the 1960s, uh, forming a car park for the, the, the wood itself. Um, so quite a little settlement around here at one time, uh, a lot of people living off the industry uh, that was cited here.